you ever went to a model home and thought, wow, this home is beautiful. I wish my home was as stunning as this. I love all these ideas. Well, you can have that even stunning model home look without the Separate Wives Five. Hi, my name is Nakia, and I went to Vine Elements of Design in the Decorator's Voice. I'm a certified interior decorator, professional organizer, and planning and productivity strategist. And today I'm gonna show you or share with you the 20 steps to make your home look like a model home. Okay, thanks for coming back. So a few weeks ago, or actually a few months ago, I wrote a blog post about the 20 steps to make your home look like a model home on my blog, which is Decorator's Voice. So a lot of people really like that blog post, so I decided to go ahead and hop on board with YouTube and share those tips with you because some people that follow me on my blog don't necessarily follow me on YouTube and I want to make sure my YouTube subscribers had a chance to uh, check out those tips okay so the first tip is to float your furniture so uh, when you go to these model homes you notice that the furniture is not pushed up against the wall it's kind of you know it's called floating so it makes the room look more inviting and more appealing to have your furniture just kind of floated so that's one of the things that you will notice when you go into those model homes Another thing you should do to your home is to add more lighting. So when you go into these model homes, I mean, it's very well lit. You'll see a floor lamp and a test lamp and then the overhead lighting. So, you know, they have dimmers and then different light uh, options and choices. So definitely, you know, add additional lighting. And then also a good rule of thumb is to have 100 watts per every 50 square feet. So that'll kind of give you an idea of how much lighting you should have in your home. Okay, number three is to find your model inspiration. So, you know, this could be, you know, a swatch of fabric or a piece of pottery or different things like that that you can use to, you know, decorate around your room. You know, I love that Collier um, commercial where the homeowners go into the architect and he says, you know, build a home around this faucet. So that's just an excellent idea how you can find your model inspiration. Number uh, four, I always tell my clients to be very creative with paint. You know, um, when you go to these model homes, these homes are using very nice colors. Even if most of the walls are beige or brown or gray, you'll still see these pops of vibrant colors, you know, throughout the home, whether it's in, you know, the window treatments or the pillows or, you know, the rugs. So definitely be creative with your color. Another thing, use plants. So many model homes, they have tons of plants. And, you know, um, I'm a fan of having faux plants in the home. You can actually mix and match. Now, I always tell a joke that I have a black thumb because all of my plants die. Well, this is where you can have your, you know, your faux plants. And they are some very nice faux plants that you can use. I will link um, in the description box a company that's actually in DFW Metroplex that has these beautiful florals and when you go into them you could not tell that they were fake so you know spend a little bit more money for the ones that look real now Oprah Winfrey you know the fabulous lady she even has you know faux plants in her home so if it's good enough for Oprah hey it's good enough for me bookshelves you will see these in homeowners, or not homeowners, but the model homes. They have bookshelves and they are fabulous. One thing that you can also do, and this actually goes back to like three or four videos um, before this one, where I talk about using wallpaper to line your bookshelf. So this is something that you can do as well. And you don't have to have, you know, tons of books on the bookshelf. It doesn't have to look like a library, which personally I do love that look. But it doesn't have to look like a library. You can put different things on shelves. This is where you can be creative and showcase some of your things. Okay, number seven. Use fabulous towel, like in your wet areas. Not towels as in hand towels, but towels on your wall. Um, these can really make your kitchen look really upscale. So that's something that the model homes do. They do not splurge or do they do not uh, skip when it comes to the towel that they use. Also, 
use window treatments as accents. So I know a lot of people, they'll think of their windows and their blinds or shutters as just protection from outside and for privacy. But your windows should be, you know, something that you should be able to look at with your window treatments. And it looks beautiful. This is where you can bring additional color in. You can bring texture in. So, you know, don't skimp and forget about your window treatments. You know, definitely be creative with those and bring in some of those um, beautiful elements. Now, you do not have to cover up the whole window because I know some people think, well, you know, I don't like old-fashioned drapery or, you know, I don't want to cover up the whole window. You don't have to. You can actually frame the window. And this is why I love using stationary panels. And they just stay like that. You can open up your blinds or open up whatever you have on the inside. But you can definitely see the outside and you can have that visual effect that you're looking for. Also, be creative with candles. That is one of the big things that you will see in these model homes. Even if you don't burn the candles, but just the look of beautiful candles can definitely give your home that model home look. 10. Removing clutter. <laughs> I cannot talk to you enough about removing clutter. If we can just remove clutter, clutter from our homes, our homes will look more beautiful, more organized, more clean. So definitely you want to move, remove your clutter. Number 11, be creative with molding. You know, have your crown molding, have your chair wheel, have things like that. Molding is beautiful and, you know, it can definitely really create your, the look you want in your home. You can build, um, <clears throat> you can have like two tones. So say, for example, your wall is one color, your molding is a different color, or you can even have like a three-dimensional look and have like a frame and then have the inside of the molding painted. So definitely be creative with your molding. Number 12, when you go into these model homes, they are very well decorated, like going up the stairs. So be um, creative with your stairwell. You know, have your pictures going up your stairs. Be creative with your gallery walls. You know, when you're creating a gallery wall, there's no really rhyme or reason. You know, you can be creative with the color and the size of your frames. And you can start off with like your monogram. So if your last name is to say Lewis and you just put a big L there and then you can just go and start putting your pictures all around it. So as you get new pictures, you know, you can put them on the wall or you can exchange them out. So definitely be creative with your walls or your stair walls. Okay, number 13, artwork as headboards. Um, I kid you not, almost every model home that I've been in the headboards are always so creative. They're not using just a regular plain headboard. Sometimes they're using something like granite or just anything, but they're just being so creative with it. I've seen people use pictures as like a headboard. So definitely, you know, have fun. Go bold with pillows. That is another big thing. We're just on 14, but that's another really big thing in these model homes. They'll have all the fun, bold pillows. Okay. Don't be afraid of artwork. So this is also something else, you know, when you go into these model homes, you're like, wow, you know, I would have never thought to use a picture like that on my wall or to hang this type of art on my wall. So definitely be creative with your artwork. Don't be afraid to use it. And don't be afraid of flooring. You know, you can spice up your home with various area rugs and throw rugs, and you can just really be creative, even if, you don't really like the, the flooring that you have. Like, say, for example, you have, you know, a really um, short pal carpet or towel. You don't like it. Well, you're not stuck with that. You can go ahead and just create a, a purchase a rug that you like. Now, if you are in the DFW Metroplex, I do have a program that I do work where basically whatever carpet you like, we can turn it into an area rug for you, whatever size, so we can just really customize it for you. So be creative with your flooring. Okay. Another thing, you know, I talked about be creative with your headboards, but you can use common items on your headboards. I've seen in a child's room where they use tennis rackets, and they were um, just all on the back of the headboard and they were just kind of alternating tennis rackets so you'll see like the um the big part of the tennis racket and the handle and then over here it would be the big part and the handle and it was just going all around 
and it was beautiful. It's like, wow, what a neat way and very inexpensive, you know, spending a ton of money by using tennis rackets. Okay, another thing that people use are built-ins. Now, um, built-ins, you don't have to break the bank with them. They can actually be very basic. You can even use them with just some trimming. You can trim it with the molding and just make it pop. So I always say, you know, hey, that's great. Okay. And then also in these model homes, they're accessorizing. So that's basically the finishing touch with all the beautiful accessories. So I tell people, you know, don't skip out on accessories. Just go ahead and have fun. Okay, well, that was my 20 steps to make your home look like a model home. I hope you enjoy those things. Now, if you have any additional tips, please feel free to leave them below in the comment section. And if you're not already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and give it a thumbs up. So thank you very much and have a divine day. Goodbye.